y'all are lying if creme de la creme a la Edgar no. was not the most delicious looking food item ever. <laughs> Look the same. Yep, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest again. It's my mom. I won't forget to introduce you this time. Oh, good. You were very requested to be back on here. Oh, thanks. So the reason I have her back on here is because I'm entering a contest actually, and it's to win a thousand dollars for watching 30 Disney shows slash films in 30 days. And we're perfect. <laughs> That's easy. And here's the thing. The reason I brought her on here with me is because we have to give a review a video review of our favorite Disney movie, which ours is the same. Also, I'm not gonna be watching Disney films by myself for 30 days. Who because, does that? Like, it's fine if you do that, but I don't, and this is my Disney watching partner. So, The Aristocats is our favorite Disney movie of all time. It's just simply the best, and I think that it's extremely underrated. What do you think? Oh. Okay, so The Aristocats is a film about a mother cat and her three kittens who get separated from their owner because of the evil butler. Well, and that's when all the fun begins. Yeah. That's, I just yeah. want to tell the whole story. You have to interest them so that they want to see it themselves. They should want to see it at least. The kittens get separated from Edgar. They escape him, basically, by accident. And then they meet O'Malley. They run I into like them. a chichi bone, like to make it home more. A healthy fish with a big backbone. I'm Abraham de Lacy. Giuseppe Casey. Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley the alley cat. I've got that. <laughs> but Phil Harris can do it. Yeah, he rocks that song. And I'm I'm blown away at the number of people that have never even heard of the Aristocats. Yep. And I'm like, I'm I'm sorry, I can't associate with you if you've never heard yeah. of the Aristocats. Yeah. The Aristocats was based on a true story. So there was actually a Parisian family of cats. Let me start. There were some cats in Paris that inherited a fortune in 1910. And that's what they based Aristocats off of. We have so many copies of this movie, you guys. Oh, so my grandma also had mm -hmm. a <laughs> This is yeah. a funny story. Yeah. <clears throat> so my grandma used to babysit me a lot and she had a VHS of the Aristocats and I watched it so much <laughs> that I, I broke it. Pulled it out and all the tape was everywhere. Hey look, there's my Aristocat. That's so what why do you love the Aristocats, Mom? The Aristocats to me it's just it's happy. I mean, even though there's even though there's a little bit of stress and drama in the movie overall. It is such a happy movie and the music is fantastic and fun and upbeat and the whole movie is colorful. I, I, it like just- Like this t-shirt. Mm -hmm, I know. And it's just, you can't not be happy when you're watching it. I don't know, it just, it really makes me happy. It speaks to me on all those levels. The music, the coloring, uh, the, the personalities of the cats, the voices, there are, there are so many classic Disney voices in that movie. Oh yeah. Why is it your favorite movie? Is it just because it was my favorite and I gave that to you or? I think that's part of it. You get to see the personalities of animals throughout the whole movie. And I feel like it's just so accurate. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> on so many levels, like even yeah. Fru Fru mm -hmm. and the dogs, Napoleon and Lafayette. Napoleon Lafayette. So accurate. And also, I think it's so cool that The Aristocats was the last movie that Walt Disney approved while he was alive. Yes, but and it didn't get finished till after he died, right? Right, and so it is the last Disney film that is a, it says in the movie, a Walt Disney production. I literally grew up to be Madame Adelaide. She's just so like, laissez-faire about yeah, everything and just like not a care in the she's world. She's totally confident in herself. Yes. She is, and just, she is 100% 
comfortable in her own skin. And she's what so she is. fabulous too. She is. And I love that little relationship that she has with her attorney. George. George. My favorite part, I think, together. of the entire movie. He gets his pen out. Yeah. And he's like, crink, 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 crink. <laughs> Y'all are lying if creme de la creme a la Edgar no. was not the most delicious looking food item ever. It, and it was literally milk and drugs with a Ritz cracker dipped in it. Okay, but part of Ooh. what made it so delicious is <clears throat> the voice of Roquefort. It's so aesthetically and of him pleasing. And, and he mark. says, mmm, delicious. Oh, well, O'Malley, I think... O'Malley is, is hands down the sexiest animated character in any Disney movie. He's it's a true. stud. O'Malley is a stud and that voice, Phil Harris's voice, come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they take the cutest family pictures at the end. <laughs> with, with his mouth. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And she parts his hair in the middle and combs it down. <laughs> oh I'm gosh, leaving all of this in so because bad. it's funny. So this was the last Walt Disney approved animated film. He died in 1966. And then this movie was released in theaters in 1970. I just, I have never understood why it was not more popular. And maybe because it, it's a little tamer than a lot of the Disney movies. There's not as much tension. There's not as much of a climax. But I think that's one of the reasons that I love it so I much. think it's one of the reasons I like it too. I don't because... like super stressful mm -hmm. movies. I like no. movies where I just like know that it's going to end happy and I can just yeah. enjoy the ride because it's pleasant. Right. It's, it's interesting to me. I would be curious to know why some people don't adore the movie. Why it's not their favorite. I mean, everybody has their own favorite. Everybody has their own tastes, whatever. But some people don't like the Aristocast. They think it's boring or whatever. And I would just be curious to know, I've met many people my own age and we all love it. I don't know. I don't know, but I've continued to love it and I will choose it over almost anything else. I mean, if, if I have to choose, and it's one of the choices. Like I said, it's so aesthetically pleasing on so many levels with the color. It's so bright and colorful mm -hmm. and happy and the music and the, and I've already said all of this. It's and the just, characters. It's all over. The characters yeah. are so lovable. Even your villain. And he gets his in the end. He, he gets shipped to Timbuktu. You don't absolutely hate Edgar. Do you? Maybe you do. He helps. Okay, you can just, I don't know. Let's go through the different parts of the movie, like character, plot, um, your different aspects of the movie and grade. Music. Fantastic. A++. Yes. 10 out of 10. The jazz, Phil Harris's voice, even the scales and arpeggios is just like such a classic. Yeah. The Lizzo meme, y'all. Almost all of the music in that movie is upbeat and it just, it lifts you. It's fun yeah. to sing to, to dance to, to clean to. I mean, you know. I find myself just grinning Yeah. from start to finish mm -hmm. and I'm just like, mm -hmm. plot. I mean, it, it's your typical. I think that people would disagree with us, but I give it an A because it's not super stressful. Other people would probably grade it worse because it's not. Oh, let's not forget about the geese. Yeah. I don't feel... I Amelia, was gonna, Amelia and... My next category was characters. Oh, okay. 15 out of 10, 15 out of 5 stars, A++++++++++. I love all of the characters. <laughs> yes. Ditto. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot like Marie. The characters are fun because you... And you have Scat Cat and his whole band. Did and you they're know? all very different and they all have fun voices. Yes, ma'am. Did you know that Scat Cat was originally supposed to be Louis Armstrong? Voiced by Louis Armstrong? Oh, yeah, I did know that. But See, he that's was what... sick. Oh, really? So he couldn't do it. And then you've got ge the geese, you've got Uncle Waldo. And then you've got Fru Fru and Roquefort, Madame Adelaide, and Roquefort Edgar, is Sir Hiss. Yes. And Winnie the Pooh. Sterling Holloway. 
Sterling Holloway is iconic yeah. for so many movies. And another fun fact about Aristocats that I think is cool is that Disney a lot of times would recycle animation. So if you look at Maid Marian in Robin Hood, her figure and her face shape and her tail are almost identical to Duchess. And there's a portion, I mean like obviously there's Duchess dancing in Everybody Wants to Be a Cat, but then there's also a portion of dancing in Robin Hood and it's the same. It, it's kind of like a this movement. And, and on her tail swishes back and forth. I can see it in my head. Yeah. I don't know if I'm conveying it on camera, but like I see it in my head. And you just told me that today and I, that was fascinating to me. And it's like, oh, they yeah. look the same. Yeah. They totally do. The same way that, I think Disney always kind of does this, they mimic their characters to look like the voice actor. Oh yeah. Like they made all of Phil Harris's characters with like the little teeth at the bottom. Like you know how O'Malley has his two teeth sticking out the bottom and then Little oh, Dawn also oh, has yeah. the two teeth. Um, I feel like the animation, I'm not a huge like film cinematography person so I don't know a lot about it, but what you've been saying the whole time, it's so colorful. Mm. And like just think about like the everybody wants to be a cat scene where everything is just like blue, pink, red, purple, like all the different colors, you know? And they used that song at Disneyland this past year in the- <gasps> I died! <laughs> I was so excited! <laughs> in the fireworks show. Yeah. I didn't see it, but like we heard the parade going on and we were like walking and I just like stopped and I just... <clears throat> and then we turned around and then we were like, <gasps> So fun fact, my husband in my phone is my alley cat. So that's his <laughs> name in my phone. You didn't want to spoil everything for me. I wanted so to see. So tell me what you know. I wanted to see if I could shock her with a couple of cool facts about the Aristocats that she didn't already know. Like I told you today that they recycle the movement, right? They also recycled the barks of Lafayette and Napoleon from 101 Dalmatians. Really? Really? Do Napoleon or Lafayette make an appearance in 101 Dalmatians, like in the in the Twilight Bark? Maybe, but that's what the barks were recycled from. The Twilight Bark? Yeah. I have not seen 101 Dalmatians all the way through, I don't think. Really? Do because it. I think you saw, I think the live version ruined it for me. Was being made before you ever even saw the cartoon version. And the previews alone were scary. <laughs> With Glenn Close <laughs> as Cruella DeVille. She was good. <laughs> I think you were doing that like for five minutes before I even realized what you were doing. That was my impersonation of the laugh in the, in the preview. Can we do a side-by-side -side meme of you doing that laugh and then the actual preview of Glenn Close doing the laugh? And whenever we just need like a pick-me-up, mm -hmm. it's always the Aristocats. We always just watch the Aristocats because it's amazing. It's such a great film. This is just a happy movie. It feels good and it just, it's, it feels good to my soul. Yeah. Because it's just happy. It's just I happy. I, I love what you just said. It, feeds your soul. It's like I said earlier, when we watch the Aristocats, we we both just start grinning. And we, we just watch it with this huge smile on our faces. And my face hurts by the end because mm. it's just so great. And it truly does, it feeds our souls. So if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. I mean, if you're any kind of a Disney fan at all. Even though we love the Aristocats and that's by far our all time favorite, we love so many Disney movies. Like we could name like 15 right off the bat that we could watch anytime, anywhere and just be so happy. So as our final grade review for the Aristocat, five out of five stars. Absolutely, every time. Hope this was kind of fun for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my mom again. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let us win this contest and pay us $1,000 to watch Disney stuff because I can't think of a better job. <laughs> There's nothing better to get paid to watch Disney movies. Come on. This was just for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Are you going to say bye? Bye.